there is someone who wakes up. He doesn't know why he woke up near a mysterious lake. Shortly after, he recalls the incident that happened to him. At that time, he was casually riding his vest ball on a mountain road. However, the car in front of him, which was carrying a vending machine, was about to drop. His cargo. He didn't want the vending machine to fall, so he accelerated to save it. Unbeknownst to him, the road ahead was a sharp turn, causing him to fall down along with a vending machine. After that unfortunate event, he thought his life had come to an end. However, he felt strange because he couldn't move his body. He also heard a robotic voice coming from within him. The voice said, Welcome. Thank you very much. I have been awaiting your arrival. You have received one free product. As a vending machine enthusiast, he was familiar with such voices. Then, when he looked at the reflection in the water, what he saw was a vending machine. It seemed that he had been reincarnated as a vending machine. As a fan, he was touched because he had become a vending machine. However, he still found it somewhat unbelievable. After experimenting, he finally figured out which sentences he could utter. He also tried to find out what else he could do. Then, several lines of text and numbers appeared in his mind. Cold mineral water for 130 yen. Hot corn soup for 100 yen. It seemed that those were the products sold within him. Then, there was a system that explained how the products worked. To add products, he had to use points. Points were earned by converting income money. These points could also be used to refill products, replace them, and add functions to the machine. He realized that there was a wide variety of products that could be added as a vending machine. He used 10 points to add iced milk tea. The price of that product was 100 yen. While exploring other functions, he realized one important thing. His body was not powered by electricity. Instead, his points would be used. Every hour, one point would be deducted, so in a day, he would lose 24 points. Therefore, he needed to earn at least 24 yen per day to survive. Anyway, he still had 900 points, so he could survive for one month. Nevertheless, he was worried if there were people passing by the lake. As expected, no one passed by until the next day. However, he saw a figure of a frog emerging from the lake. It was human-sized and wearing a chest protector while holding a club. The frog was curious about the vending machine in front of it. Feeling unfamiliar with the object, the frog attempted to destroy it instead. It was hit, its durability decreased by three. If the durability runs out, the vending machine would be damaged and non-functional. The only statuses it possessed were durability and toughness. Other than that, its statuses were valued at zero. It then realized that there were magic statuses as well, although their values were zero. This meant that there was knowledge of magic in this world. The system informed that durability could be restored using points. However, the situation became more dire when the frog called three other friends. One of them even brought an axe weapon. The vending machine started searching for any functions within itself that could potentially help. It discovered the skill blessing. The system explained that it was a special bestowal ability from the god and could be obtained without using points chose that skill. Afterward, it found a skill barrier, a translucent protective layer that surrounded the user. It could even be configured to allow specific individuals to pass through the barrier. The vending machine finally found the skill it was searching for. The attacking frogs were immediately repelled when the vending machine used its protective magic. However, the frogs still did not surrender and continued to attack. Only in the evening did they finally give up, and the vending machine could release its protective magic. At the same time, it replenished its durability using points. After all those events, it had 311 points remaining. It could survive for another 10 days, but it was still precarious without any customers. Several days later, the vending machine continued to wait for someone's arrival. Then, it heard a woman's voice not far away. The woman was shouting as if she wanted to ambush something, but she couldn't find her target. She felt relieved that there was no one around as she was too hungry and exhausted. It turned out that the woman was a hunter. She wanted to hunt frog monsters to obtain meat for consumption, but she was too tired that none of her attacks it. The woman suddenly noticed an odd object in front of her. Yes, what she saw was a vending machine. She saw food and drinks inside it. 
The woman was surprised by the sudden welcome voice. The vending machine then continued to say, please insert a coin. She tried to insert a bronze coin, but it was returned to her. The system explained that the coin was not accepted. The vending machine had to use the currency conversion function to accept it. She chose the currency conversion function worth 100 points. Consequently, the prices displayed on the vending machine changed from yen to OA currency. 1000 OA was equivalent to one silver coin. The woman noticed the change in price tags. She felt that one silver coin was too expensive. However, what could she do? She needed to eat at the moment. The woman finally decided to use her silver coin. She pressed the button for the can with a picture of corn soup. The woman was impressed because the can that came out was still warm. After the first sip, she immediately liked the taste of the corn soup. She even said it was tastier than the food at her usual restaurant. Unfortunately, she was still not satisfied with just one can. The woman bought another can, but this time she chose iced milk tea. It seems she also liked the drink. In other words, she bought three more cans of corn soup and a bottle of mineral water. Thanks to that, the vending machine received six silver coins and 30 bronze coins, which amounted to 6,300 OA. It gained 63 points for itself. After the woman was full, she became careless and fell asleep on the vending machine. The vending machine decided to protect her using its protective magic. It seemed that the trash from its vending machine products disappeared magically when they were consumed. One could say that the vending machine was an environmentally friendly machine. The next day, the woman woke up. She thanked the vending machine for providing food. When the vending machine thanked her back, the woman was surprised. She suspected that the vending machine could speak, but with limitations. She introduced herself as Lamis. She asked the vending machine to say welcome as yes and other words is no. The vending machine then said too bad as no. While wondering, Lamis was curious if the vending machine felt lonely here all alone. The vending machine answered yes. Lamis offered to accompany it and mentioned that she could introduce it to Halami, a magic tool artisan. Suddenly, Lamis lifted the vending machine with her bare hands, even though it could weigh up to 500 kilograms. While walking and chatting, the vending machine was informed that Lamis possessed the blessing of strength. That's why she had such immense power. Shortly after, Lamis wanted to take a short rest. She also wanted to buy more corn soup. The vending machine felt sorry because the corn soup didn't make her feel very full. It decided to add potato chips as a product within itself. Lamis immediately tried the new product. She got hooked and kept buying it multiple times. As a result, the vending machine received 320 points, which it planned to use to reduce the price of mineral water. Lamis mentioned that they were almost at the entrance of this layer, where a village was located. Upon reaching the village, the vending machine learned that it was inside a dungeon. It was quite unexpected, especially since the sky could be clearly seen. While there, the two gatekeepers of the village were also curious about the object Lamis brought along. After explaining, they became interested in buying items. Turned out that they also liked the products available. They even asked Lamis to bring the vending machine there more often because the gatekeepers couldn't leave their positions. While heading to her lodging, Lamis noticed a little girl being harassed by thugs. Lamis could intimidate them with her immense strength, but for some reason, her attack still didn't land. Afterward, they finally arrived at Lamis' lodging. The innkeepers were very worried because the hunter group accompanying Lamis mentioned that they had left her alone. Lamis also explained about the vending machine she found at the lake. It turned out that Lamis just remembered she needed a lot of money to go to the surface to meet Hulumi. She had to pay to use the teleportation circle. Munami, one of the inn's attendants, offered Lamis a temporary part-time job there. Additionally, the vending machine could be placed in front of the inn to attract customers. True to her promise, Lamis brought the vending machine to the gatekeepers at night. They liked the products, but they started to get bored. The vending machine felt that it was perhaps time to add new products. The gatekeepers were surprised when their vending machine started to glow, and new products appeared inside it. The new product was Odin priced at three silver coins. 
After trying it, they said that this product was their favorite so far. And as usual, they got addicted and kept buying it. In the final part of the episode, the girl whom Lamis had saved approached the vending machine. The girl wanted a greeted first, but she ended up running away because the vending machine greeted her first. For some reason, she threw a stone and made mocking gestures. As usual, Lamis would bring the vending machine to the gatekeeper's post. She even bought a wooden backpack to carry the vending machine on her back. And when Lamis picked it up, they exchanged stories about the events of the day, even though the vending machine's speech was very limited. That's why Lamis wanted to quickly earn a lot of money and bring the vending machine to Halumi. Unexpectedly, Lamis also gave a name to the vending machine, Boxo.